Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Star Wars Vintage Collection Din Djarin in his Morak disguise. Now this figure is VC251 and came out in a recent wave with the Mandalorian Death Watch Airborne Trooper with the Ahsoka 332nd Clone Trooper, the Arc Trooper Jesse, Figurin Dan, and the Mandalorian Commando, Super Commando Captain. So, just got this um, a couple days ago, and, um, you know, the, the card back art, I think, is okay. Um, you know, they wanted to have, I believe, a picture of him with his helmet off, and so there was probably very little to choose from. But I usually like the, um, you know, the card backs that have a little bit more action to them. But um, So we'll go ahead and open this figure up and check him out. All right, here is Din Djarin. Now, the one thing that I really like about this figure just is the face sculpt. Um, so, of course, we got a couple years ago the Mandalorian figure with the removable or with the swappable helmet um, for the Navarro Can Navarro Cantina playset, um, where it was the pack in with Grogu, and I got that head sculpt to compare and of course for that scene he was supposed to be a little beaten up but I think just the overall likeness to Pedro Pascal is a lot better I think the hair looks a lot better and just overall is a big upgrade in um, in the likeness to him so the one thing that I've heard I'm gonna test it out now is just to see if the heads are swappable so you can kind of see the neck. It's almost a little bit too high up to put that head. Now that's not really what I would be wanting to do. If anything, I'd be wanting to swap out and put the new head on the former Mandalorian figure we had. So, and I may play around. Uh, yeah, I don't even know that that's going to go in there. No. So you can see the neck is just really tall. That. That ball joint is not going to pop in there easily, if at all. I may play around with some of the other Mandalorian figures that we've gotten, but I'm going to guess they're all about the same. So we may be stuck having separate heads, not really being able to swap them out, but that's okay. Likely what they had to do was, because this one is a removable helmet instead of swappable, they may have to make this head sculpt just a little bit uh, smaller. So... Now we can't have this one without comparing to the uh, Migs Mayfeld figure. So if you got the red band version, they're gonna be just about identical. Now the weathering on the chest plate actually looks pretty much the same. So not much difference there. Don't really have any weathering on the back for either of these. Um, now, the, I, I did notice that, so this is Din Djarin's helmet, and this is Mig's. So the weathering on the helmets are slightly different. Not sure if everyone's had that same kind of experience, but um, so overall, I mean, if you like this figure, um, or if you liked the Mig's Mayfeld figure, you're going to like this one as well. Everything's going to be pretty much identical, so... There we have it. Now he does come with one blaster. Should fit in the holster right here. Just like that. The scope does have to stick out of the holster to get it to fit in there correctly. So, and again, you know, I think um, I'd love to get, you know, maybe the um, the Imperial captain or commander, whoever. Um, they were sitting with at that table. I would love to get that figure in the line. I don't know that that's going to happen anytime soon. Getting the tank that they rode in would be awesome. But again, I'm just not really sure how much we're going to go back and revisit Season 2 of The Mandalorian to get more figures at this point. So it may be 
you know what it is at, at this point and we can just hope for more figures from upcoming season three maybe some more from book of boba fett but overall um a, a good figure you know all these new head head and face sculpts are really good a lot of detail um so we can't complain about that this helmet off so let me know your thoughts what did you think of this figure and the migs mayfeld figure let me know below and make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it Please make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all of our vintage collection uh, reviews. Thanks, and may the force be with you.